Very excited about today's episode. We've been trying to get Jeremy Griggs on the show. He is one of the fanciest and funniest human beings on planet Earth, and I'm gonna secretly pour him a 43-year-old whiskey to see what he thinks. But along the way, we're gonna try some of the Whiskey Tribe's favorite pours and see what he thinks about those two. Here we go. It's very cold in here. It is rather. The but then tables. where would we be when drinking wi uh, whiskey if our nipples were not taught and ready for pleasure? God, you're absolutely right. You are my spirit animal. <laughs> you do know that, right? <laughs> yeah, I finally found a role for myself in this world. So uh, this is Whiskey Tribe. We are going to go through a handful of whiskeys. Um, there's, there's some rhyme or reason here, but we'll get into that because there are very few taste makers in my life. Most people who have opinions, I don't give a sh This man's opinion. <laughs> I say. I, I respect. Well, your experience and your, your knowledge and where you're coming from. I think with whiskey, you don't fancy yourself an expert, but you've been around the block a few times. I do not. It has yeah. been a source of great pleasure for me in my life, although not a source of canonical, cross-referenced experthood. This is where I nod and smile, because if I try to keep up, then I don't sound smart. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to start with... You know what? I'm not even going to tell you that. I That's want you beard. to go in fresh. Let's it's dive into the first incredible. whiskey and then I'll explain what we're drinking right now. On the nose. Oh, I've got a lovely floral note with an evil formaldehyde lurking underneath Ooh, it. Ooh, okay, oh. okay. But the floral note is really pretty. Mm -hmm. I have a sweet, um, it's a crispy yeah, vanilla. Yeah, I, I can see the... It's crispy vanilla in there. I don't know, I've just learned a new application mm -hmm. for the adjective crispy, that's mm -hmm. good. I think the, the... I can sort of get where you're going with vanilla. I would say it's more like a jasmine flower quality. Oh, very, okay, yeah. Do you see that? Absolutely. It's very perfumed and happy. Okay. Yeah. This is This is one you'd want to mm -hmm. smear on yourself for the spring festival. Ah, uh, yes. Am I allowed to, to investigate it, your, it further? Just pour it all over. Oh, you got it. <laughs> this episode has been sponsored by... Bespoke Post is a monthly subscription box that sends you boxes of awesome goodness. Every month, Bespoke Post is going to introduce you to cool new brands. You can pause, you can cancel any time. You're going to take a preference quiz so they can send you really cool stuff you probably never find on your own. And very often, these are going to be American brands. Like outdoor gear, barware. It's about $70 worth of stuff, but you're gonna be paying a fraction of the cost. You can preview the box we're gonna send you yeah. before it ever comes. You can say, yep, send me that thing, or you can swap it out for a different box, or you can skip that month entirely if you're not into anything on there. So this is the cold brew kit. How often do you cold brew? Never. Because you don't have a kit. Dude. Whoa. Look at the, Ooh. right? <gasps> that, is that is nice. robust. Put your cold. This is the, oh, the swirl kit. Ooh, it's swirl. Bourbon nosing and scent kit. Ooh, oh my God, there's crackers. The crackers? I like crackers. All right. Ooh, nosing yeah. glasses. Nice, so it has like the tight, this is actually a legitimately well-designed glass. Yeah. And then, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can like do some drop stuff in there. Oh. <gasps> Whoa, cool. Okay. Oh, caramel, brown sugar, cherry, corn, and black pepper. People are always asking us, how do you start to pick out specific things? Nosing kits are one of the easy answers. This glass, are you eating the crackers? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try this out. I just noticed something on this glass. If this has a, uh... what are you doing? So if you get some liquid in there, like you'd probably be dropping in water, you hold the little air hole and then you let go, boom. Uh, Amazing. <laughs> and crackers. To get 20% off your first box, click the link in the description and enter Whiskey Tribe 20 at checkout or go to bespokepost.com slash Whiskey Tribe 20. All right, cheers, guys. That's on tape. It's on tape, my mother. <laughs> oh, what do you got? Yummy. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. It's it's got that like subtle, nice sweetness on there. Mm -hmm. Little vanilla, -y, little Lorna Dooney. I find a shortbread cookie. I'm definitely getting that mid palate sort of biscuity quality. Yes. I'm not getting much finish. Okay. And I'm not getting a lot of aftertaste. But it is like uh, Beaujolais Nouveau. It is like the fresh young wine of the season that you enjoy for its lightness and freshness. But you don't bear it too much, mine, because it gives you pleasure in the moment. Were you nodding and smiling too, or just? Bonjour les nouveaux. No, you gotta smile. Bonjour les nouveaux. Bonjour les nouveaux, Jerry. Oh, sh. 
Oh gosh, I'm so smart. <laughs> See, I think you got the nod down, but the smile reassures people that you're you're not dumb. Uh, right. Oh. Uh, is this an Irish whiskey? Of course it is. Of course it is. Yes, yes. Uh, this not only is an Irish whiskey, we recently asked the community, uh, what are your favorite whiskeys right now in the moment? Ah, what did they say? They said Red Bridge oh, 12. Oh, this is one of my house whiskeys. Yes. I love it oh, so nice. much. Lovely. This one and the green spot I yes. keep at home mm -hmm. at all times yes, yes, yes. because sometimes you just need happiness. Mm -hmm. This, uh, whenever we do just kind of uh, we check in with the community every once in a while, a lot of whiskeys will get replaced by something else. Mm. Sometimes the price gets really high, people don't really get it, or the availability God, becomes a problem. doesn't it though? Yes, but this though, this is always showing up very you know, high, very this, high is Irish booze manufacturing at its finest. Mm. Somehow they managed to keep the price yeah. where it needs to be. Mm -hmm. It's always a crowd pleaser. Mm -hmm. Is it time for round two? It is time for round two. Hey, hey. Uh, do I have to subvert my eyes? You know what, it does make my life easier. All right, I shall, I shall gaze at the exquisite yeah, young lady standing pop. next to me. You say I'm exquisite, oh, look at you. say you it again. You're exquisite, you're absolutely exquisite, darling. <gasps> I'm exquisite. Quite right. <laughs> Well, you're what? actually quite exquisite too, but in a different way, mm. in a more hyper barbie way. An afterthought way. way. As the fluffiest of the people at the table. <laughs> <laughs> On the nose, what do you mm. have? Virtually nothing. It's like... It's like seagrass or something. It's... Yes. God, there's very little there. Maybe it's just cold and traumatized. Mm -hmm. I think we give it a loving caress. Mm -hmm. I think that's yeah. the way. Ooh, I like this hand shape. I feel like I should say Beaujolais, even though I don't know what that Beaujolais. is. Beaujolais. Oh, for heaven's uh, sake, oh, Rex. <laughs> Lift your game, for heaven's sake. <laughs> I'm getting a sort of a little bit of a light leather in here. Sometimes a helpful trick is to put just a dime's worth and on your hand. And then slap someone in the face with it. I think that's a good idea. Why Go. are you making eye contact? <laughs> Why are you bothering <laughs> The tiniest smell. I'm going to take a tiny droplet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if a whiskey is very tight mm. and you're trying to find flavors that the glass isn't giving you. Uh, okay, there's a honey. Pulled the there's a honey, a mm -hmm. light fruitiness. Yeah, a honey and as a pear. Mm. For me. But it's very faint. Yeah, compared to the uh, the red. It's rest. a much more muted nose uh, on this one. May we uh, oh, big please. guzzle? It's yeah, yeah. delicate and beautiful. Mm. Mm. Okay. Much more of a rich maltiness on the taste than I was Oh, from wow. Those. Yeah. That's a bang on the palate I wasn't expecting with yeah. that muted it nose. It showed up on the flavor. I'm mm -hmm. getting a vegetal straw sort of quality out of there. Mm -hmm. I'm not super what? impressed with this. There's a mouthfeel, which is not particularly welcoming. There's no nose. Okay. I get straw and a grassy quality, and I'm not getting a strong finish or aftertaste. Mm. What do you feel? Okay. You just described something that you're not impressed. You considered it tight. It's not a good mouthfeel. And it doesn't. It does not finish well. What you were describing is Daniel's dingle. I'm sorry. Daniel has a lovely dingle. I've told him that to his face. But <laughs> on this occasion, I feel I am uh, Very unimpressive. unmoved. But we know that he has a lovely dingle. That's many of the reasons we choose to hang out with him. Oh, well, I think we just confirmed that's not the case. Well, okay, it's not the case at all. It's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> When Daniel and I were in Ireland, yes. um, somebody handed it to him, and it was supposed to be something that you're not able to get outside of the distillery. It's very limited release and all this stuff. should be quite fortunate. <laughs> yeah. That's the case. No, this is uh, this, you know, the fact that it's not out in the world. <laughs> no, like, that's right. Great. This is like saying the virus didn't get out of the Wuhan lab. Oh my God! <laughs> I think I enjoy Daniel's dingle much more than you. I think you do, because I think you're more sophisticated. Yep, Beaujolais. That's what we're doing. <laughs> Should we launch the third rocket? Uh, so this is the next. Holy sh! There we yeah. go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Welcome. Right. So incredibly. Jesus Christ! Yeah. What have you pulled? So for me, it's kind of like if you put some bacon mm -hmm. in in maybe a barrel. Yes, it's got a fat wash quality yeah. about it. You took out that it, bacon, but yeah. the, the it's a life fat of wash. the bacon. Mm. Is it's still got a in fat there. wash quality it's about so it. It's so oily, it's almost savory. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Smoked meat. Mm. Yep, yep. Yes. Yeah. Let's get into it. Let's get it. Oh yeah. This uh, is Boy, it's pure bacon, isn't it? This it is the, so right. Mm. The first it's time I've ever juice. had this whiskey. I'm experiencing it for the first time with you. It's bacon and um, sulfurous apocalypse. Mm. It tastes like. <laughs> 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 but 
you know what? I'm curiously compelled. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. I would yeah. drink this to the bottom because there's evil in it. Yes. And I find the but evil a good compelling. Evil, you know? Oh, this compelling, right? Mm -hmm. With this intention. Is a, this is an evil that will tell you fascinating stories mm -hmm. before it kills your entire family. Mm. Uh, I'm getting a little bit of Octomore, a little bit of um, Brimstone yeah, from yeah. Balconies. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit of that really charred finish on yeah. it. Yes. And I love it. It's speaking to my toxic soul. Uh, mm. But I cannot place it with any region mm. whatsoever. I mean, unless it came from the bacon slaughterhouse. Yeah. This is actually from New Zealand. Oh. Roughly your neck Monica of the woods. Monica tree. Yeah, I totally get the wood smoke thing. Wood I would smoke, never have single malt. That. This. Mm. I didn't even know New Zealand made single malt whiskey, so I am sta I stand in form. Well, I imagine that they're a fan of smoky scotch because the amount of that savory, smoky, mm -hmm. thick, it's true. aggressive. And in New Zealand, the preferred way of doing a barbecue is called mm. a hungi, where you take a pig and you bury it in a pit. It's oh. a Polynesian. Yeah, they do that in Hawaii too. Yeah. Same sort yeah, of thing. Yeah. And that's all about the smoky flavor. Yeah. So I can see that's the uh, culinary forebears of the whiskey. Jesse Wilson from Stillet, he handed me this years ago. <laughs> And then Wait, I, this was years ago? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. And then you were coming. It's like, you know Sorry, what? This Jackie. is going to be. I'll take. I'll take it out and flummox the Australian. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Pretty yeah. much. But I'm just glad I didn't make any sort of silly statements. Oh, that's from Campbelltown. Yeah. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> it's all smoke, but you don't get a hint of peat in it, so no, you yeah. know that you've no. got no obvious geographical yeah. indicators from peat. It's a whiskey that gives zero. F just walks into a room. That's realm. true. It treads on your tongue, yeah. craps on your palate, yeah, yeah, and yeah. then laughs at you as it stamps out. Whilst wearing a mullet. Whilst, well, oh, There's it came in with a mullet because it's from New Zealand. <laughs> that's what, that's yeah. what we know for okay. certain. <laughs> Ready for the next ones? Yes. Okay. So I plugged in um, the New Zealand whiskey mm. because for these top five, these first five, we're going through the most popular whiskeys in the whiskey tribe, but we didn't have the Port Charlotte tin. <gasps> I know. We didn't have the Port Charlotte tin, so I swapped it out for the New Zealand whiskey from Jesse. Thank you very much, Jesse. Oh. Yeah. This is a bit mm. bandagey. Mm. I get a slight peanut brittle. Oaky. Honey, oh, yeah. fresh. I'm definitely getting that sweet note you're talking about mm -hmm. now. And there's a <sighs> dusting of a graham cracker. Dusty wooden graham cracker. Look. Brambleberry. Hmm? Okay. What is a brambleberry? A berry you find in a bramble. Aren't those poisonous? Yes. <laughs> That's why you shouldn't be eating them, only smelling them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, this is delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting like sword timber. So yes, the woodiness. You're getting that yes, woodiness. Yes, yes, it's, yes. it's really a, a big wood profile on this one. Maybe big young wood. oak or something like that. Yeah, yeah. big oh, young wood. Very different from Daniel's dingle. Couldn't this is Rex's dingle. Did I mention you're one of my favorite people? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh sh that mouthfeel is fucking excellent. Ooh. Oh, 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 my nipples! They could take someone's eye out. Yes. <laughs> oh. Oh, Beautiful. this is f***ing great. You're not kidding. Okay, mm. hold on a second. I love how much you love it. I asked you, what are you into? You never uttered the words bourbon. This does not taste like the standard three spoons of sugar corn whiskey that I absolutely dislike. Okay. This has got personality and it's got woody things going on. Yes. I am usually, you correctly divide that, mm. I'm usually not a fan of the sugar forward quality yeah. of bourbons. So this was uh, the most highly selected bourbon in the community. Amongst I, I, the whole tribe. Amongst the whole tribe. This is the wild turkey rare breed. Barrel proof. Mm. It, it's not it does proof. well with the so extra burn, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I never thought I'd find myself going gaga for wild turkey. This is one of those threshold moments yeah. in my life. Wild turkey is one of these brands that you just even hear the name. It strikes the mm. ear. It, it sounds like you should be drinking it out of <laughs> a brown paper bag. Or uh, red solo cups. Yep. Once you upgrade yeah. that wild turkey to the 101, there's a lot there at the 101 proof, but this you want to take it. Really good. If you want to take it up a notch, rare breed. We must be ready for a new adventure. We are, we are. <laughs> it's like pour the whiskey, man. <laughs> pour the dumb whiskey, laddie. Uh, <laughs> oh, there's more. Oh, well, that's an Isla something for sure. So this came in at number five on the most popular whiskeys in the whiskey truck community this right is, now. This is very hot with Pete. This is pretty gutsy. I mean, mm -hmm. crikey. Mm. Seaweed, Steve Jobs's Birkenstocks. That's what I smell. 
I don't know if you've been following the news, but that's twenty six thousand. If you had a bar, are they selling his they sandals? They sold them this year for this week for twenty six thousand. That is amazing. How much would you spend on Steve Jobs? Four hundred dollars. I'm um I'm not a an experienced consumer of the discarded shoes of others. Um, <laughs> Oh. My, my. Maybe the... Yeah, that's you probably. Named, that's not, really a, you that's said, not a category in which. I hadn't finished the sentence like four hundred dollars. <laughs> God, this is a mm, punchy yeah. floor of. It's some like leather. Uh, you've driven down a road in Isla, mm -hmm. and you notice a package by the side of the road. Mm -hmm. and you pull over and you go and look at the package. Daniel's and it's genius. a fisherman's abandoned creel. <gasps> okay. Full of lures and fish, and then you open it. Yeah, yeah. And the smell is this. Oh, beautiful. Mm. You know what? I think he's better at this than we are. I, yeah. <sighs> All right, here we go. It, it doesn't. It's not as high. It doesn't swing like, like it was on the nose. Mm. Yeah. No, it doesn't. It's We're, much more subdued, much yeah, more yeah. refined. I was getting next to no sweetness on the nose, but I do find the multi sweetness. Just There's unique. plenty on the palate. Mm. Yeah. Mm. As opposed to the early whiskeys we were tasting, yeah. the aftertaste is just going on yeah. and mm -hmm. on and on. And this is what I like as a sipping whiskey. Something that really leaves you something to think about when the whiskey's gone. Jeremy, you like Lagavulin oh, 16. That is my favorite whiskey. I don't know how Is it I your favorite? It is, and I oh, had no reason. Okay. I, I, okay. See, now it's $1,000 a bottle. It's probably, I can't have afford it these yeah, days. No, it, it took a but minute to find is, some. This is yeah. really such a delight, isn't it? Yeah. This was my house whiskey. I oh, always yeah. had a bottle of Lagavulin. Yeah, nice. And nice, it's nice. a sign that I obviously have cognitive decay, that I couldn't remember the flavor profile. <laughs> Never mind. Me? It was fun so far. I'll just go into La La Land now. I'm going home now. <laughs> <laughs> Even tasting experts who do this for a living, if they don't know exactly what they're tasting, they have very similar experiences. So don't feel bad at all. So I'm glad to say that this still provides unalloyed pleasure, even yes. if my uh, frontal cortex was <laughs> unable to match it. To Wouldn't it have been unfortunate if you're like, this ditch this water. Is this is <laughs> It's like, wait, this is my favorite. What am I doing? <laughs> so while while you're not looking at me, because this becomes more difficult whenever people look me in the eyes, uh -huh. it's much easier for me to share appreciation whenever <laughs> you're not looking at my face. I so enjoy my time with you. Please don't look at me. I think you are one of the most interesting people to have around. You elevate the atmosphere in the room. Keep not looking at me. Oh, okay. And, you know, if you really pressed me, Rather than you coming here to spend money and hang out, I could be convinced to pay you oh, I to say. come here no, to I spend say. time and hang out. Please don't look at me. I think we should rename this whiskey convivial. If most people knew what that meant. They do. Do they? You have a very smart group of people in your audience. Oh, well, I'm not going to disagree. Anyone who pledges their life to whiskey has pledged their life to understanding the word convivial. Let me assure you that. We're this getting... has been very yummy so far. Right. Yeah. Most tastings I've been part of give you a great deal of unalloyed shit. Mm -hmm. That has not been the case. No. This has been very lovingly curated. It's because we love you. Alex, oh, get rid of the shit whiskeys. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a sherry cask finish whiskey? Let's just enjoy it. Oh, that. let's, let's not give enjoy. anything let's to the rogue enjoy. Australian. How long have you been in the rogue. States, by the way? 20 something years. Oh, okay, so you're. 1998, 24 years. You're damn near American. At this I point. almost. Yeah. Mm, I guess that's true. Yeah. I don't know if that's an insult or not. But no, yeah. I mean, I'll take it, except yeah. if I have to go, oh my God, this is awesome, then someone's going to have to die. <laughs> Do you have an American accent? Because you've been around us forever at this point. I can deploy mm. little vignettes. Okay, as you do. all right. And I can go all swampy if you want me to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is, okay. <sighs> what do you get, Brianna? Nice. I get like a, it's like a wet earthiness. Pass. But it's like forest floor, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. Yes. You're trapped on an island. It's dark, mm -hmm. it's wet, it's rainy, it's mm -hmm. foresty. It does have that sort of Stygian quality mm -hmm. about it, doesn't There's it? There's a fire that you made in the, the far away. Okay, here we go. Wow, that's a really complex mm. palette, isn't it? Very hot. Is this a cask string? You want me to jump right yeah, now? Yeah, jump. Let's have a look. We're at, at the Ardbeg, the Oogdal. Oh, we can do it The Oogdal. Oogdal. Is that Oogdal. how it's pronounced? Oogdal? Oogdal. 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 <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like something a Norwegian might say. This, though, 
is my favorite Ardbeg. But whenever I found out the Ardbeg, the committee, they chose the Uta as the Ardbeg that is their favorite. It's like, yeah, no, I, I agree. It's interesting, isn't it? It gives you this real back of the palate sensation. Mm -hmm. and it sits yeah. there and it lives there. You're tasting that now, like 30 or 40 seconds after you had a drink yeah. of this. This back of the palate, it's almost juicy. It's just sitting right at the sides of yes. the palate keeping on hitting you with that flavor. And I, I don't think that is a simple thing from a distillery perspective to do, to yeah. give someone a really rich experience at the back of the palate and the the aftertaste. With the peatiness, there's like mm. this mint layer that shows mm. up right it on Totally top. get you there, but it's not pounding you with it. Yeah. It's not, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, yeah. that Octomore too much. Yeah, when I want to get pounded, I'm usually reaching for it Laphroaig. That's the pounding. Mm. Because you're not just getting peat <laughs> pounding. Still talking about <laughs> Come back to us. <laughs> no, it's not just the uh, peat pounding, it's the iodine pounding. But the, Pete the is a pen. lovely, lovely person. <laughs> I'm glad you're appreciating this as much as we are. I've loved so much that you have brought today. Everything mm. has given great pleasure. Yeah, this yeah. has been yeah. one of the most delightful afternoon interviews of my recent knowledge. I, I will admit this is uh, a little indulgent because you, you have obviously a way with words and a way of describing. To have you participate in any kind of tasting, any type of sensory experience. Oh, I'm so happy. Yes, like you just add so this much to that. This is just so joyful. This Thank is, you for sharing that of course. with me. You know yeah. I am just Wait. totally on the sensory journey yeah. and it's an absolute delight. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But that's if we're great. saying nice things about each other, we can't look at each other, that's the rule. Ah, oh, see, that's the heterosexual man norm. Oh, you're all right, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> you're my pal. <laughs> You're my boy, Blue! <laughs> well, it gives me an opportunity to focus on your magnificence. What are you finding you're digging amongst our little moistures today? So, the one that has been twittilating my knobs and pounding me the most, I just love that Lager Blue on 16. Oh yeah, it's really yeah. nice. Yeah. It's, it's just, just such a great whiskey, isn't it? Ugh. Are we supposed to be drinking from this one? No. A bad idea. Yeah, I saw you just break the <laughs> seal. bad idea. On that. From so this one's a little confused having just come out of the bottle. So I don't expect nipple explosions on this one. Well, once the confusion coming, you know, the hot alcohol mm -hmm. left after mm -hmm. the initial pour, yeah. this is quite a handsome nose, mm -hmm. bit of sweet wood. Yeah. Ooh, yes. It's just like a, there's a char quality to mm -hmm. sweetness too. It's almost like a honeyed quality. You're picking up something like yeah. that, a little bit of richness. Mm -hmm. Sandalwood. You know that? that mm -hmm. Hey, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that sandalwood that you sandal find yes. in India. Oh, and there's some apple. Some apple. Yeah, there's a, a citrus cinnamon. note. Yeah, mm -hmm. I can definitely see where you're putting that. And it's kind of like oh. a fermenting raspberry sort of. You're going for it, man. Oh, hell yeah. yeah I want yeah. it all. All right. I want it all. <laughs> I'm going to drink it through my nostrils, god damn it. <laughs> this is how you know it's like a man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, should we get in there? Yep. Mm. Oh, that's wildly better on the palate than yeah, I thought it, it would be. Mm. Oh, yum. Can what is I, this? Can I hazard a recommendation for you? Tell me. If you are going to get into mm. bourbons, I think you need to be playing in the barrel proof world of bourbons. Yes. The cast strength world yeah, of bourbons. Yeah, that, that makes more sense. The reason why I pulled out <gasps> this bourbon. Is this one of yours? This is Eleanor, batch one, chapter one. Yes. Are you telling me this is the first product? This is the first thing that we ever released. Now, we did an MGP bourbon, which you've had dozens of times before. They sent it through some Texas summer to really crank up a lot of the heat. But the reason why I pulled it out isn't, it isn't any of those reasons. The very first Bastards Ball we had. I remember that. For all of the Patreon members. I was there in you, a ridiculous costume. You yes. were the master of ceremonies <laughs> for the Bastards Ball, and people were coming to pick up their Eleanors. They were picking this up. Yeah. Really? This is the whiskey that they were taking home. You see the dust? I it's do. It's still on oh, the bottle. Oh, goodness. I could weep. If you do bourbon, do barrel strength. You live I in the barrel strength. I think that's me. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Tipples. Mm. I got My it. tipples explode with delight. I walked in, exploded. I'm recovering. <laughs> God bless. It's like Jeremy's coming. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. We're going to patch these up. Okay, from the nipples. The band Vaseline here. <laughs> and I've got to tell you. 
With the exception of one outlier, yeah. every single tipple today has yeah. given me incredible joy. What was underwhelming? Daniel's dingle. I'm so glad you asked. It was Daniel's ah. dingle. <laughs> so you got that whiskey lover in your life. You're wondering what Christmas gift to get them and they got all the bottles they could ever need. They got all the glasses they could ever need. Barrel rested coffee. Coffee. These are whole beans that we collaborated with Project Buna and these are barrel rested beans. The first one, what do we got there? Kentucky, Kentucky Tico. Tico. Yeah, Costa Rican. Rested in a Basil Hayden bourbon barrel. <laughs> Ooh, mm. Ooh there's a, it's like a wheat bread, the dark chocolate from the coffee, super dark chocolate. And then the mm. oakiness from the finishing barrel. This is actually really good. This is really good, yeah. Mm. Let's do the next okay, one. Okay, next one. When you're going full Brazilian, obviously there's gonna be Brazilian coffee beans. An ex Lafroig crowded barrel bourbon. Wow, you know what? You put your Lefroig on the oh. bag. You put Lefroig on the bag, you're expecting to get spanked. There's no spanking. That one's an easy sipper. It's like a little bit of a, like a caramel quality to it. Yeah. That lands really soft. It really does. The last one we have stout hearted. This is gonna be, once again, a crowded barrel bourbon barrel. The impact of that barrel should be just kind of nicely balanced in there. And that. That's like a sweeter version of this. It is, it's a sweeter version. Hmm. It's a caramel mixed with the faintest little speck of ginger. These are all really good. So we usually just do one bag at a time. Holidays are coming up, so we went ham into the Crowded Barrel coffees. So cheers, enjoy. The link Bye. is gonna be in the description below yes. if you wanna learn more. It's a good thing to say. On the nose, oh. what do we have? This smells like a blended whiskey. Mmm, <sighs> does it? Oh. Interesting. Okay. Don't you think? Are you I, could, I could see it, so specifically like a compass box blend. Mm. I definitely get that refined casking. Mm -hmm. I get some clay with a, so I'll start with the obvious stuff. There's a mix of floral and a candy sweet. It smells a little bit like a sherry. Yeah, mm. I get the floral yeah. and the candy. Yeah. Ephemeral nose. I get like a sweet tea. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. that's good, yeah, I like not, that. But not yeah. a sweet black tea. Like if you made a sweet tea out of a, a different kind of tea. Yeah. Yeah. Almost like a like A Rui Boss. Oh, oh yes. yes. Yeah. We've got Dude. a Rui Boss nose. Okay. Now, the, mm. before you before you sample this, this does require a little bit of a... A little bit of inspection? No, no, no. A clink? Just... just... Thank you for having me to be part of the festival. Thank this you is for way coming. too I've, much I fun. I have wanted you here for this episode for so long. This is just <sighs> joyous. Okay. So I should be dancing like a tiny schoolgirl. <laughs> it's a bunch of fairies. Mm. Fairies on your toes. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting a lot of wood. A little bit of volatile spirit. But there's also a lot of just overlap. Like they've just melted together in one mm, interesting, caramel. complicated. I'm picking like a caramel honey flavor in mm. this. So I think one of the reasons why you may be finding a wood nut after 43 years in a barrel. 43, fuck off. That is a Talisker 43 year old whiskey. I don't think I've ever had a 43 year old whiskey. I was hoping that was the case. Fuck my brown dog. Good Lord. <laughs> it's funny when you open a whiskey that's this old or a spirit of any sort that's this old, it's the same if you open very old red and white wines. Mm -hmm. You want to stand away from the glass because all the weird confused shit comes out. And then after that's gone, all these complex flavors come out and you can start to smell those now. Yeah. Like a birch kind of flavor. Oh, birch, mm. I'd also get like a, birch. like a candied pear. Very sophisticated, I like the pear reference, that's mm. good. So I did pull out the fanciest oh, whiskey. yum! The fanciest whiskey I own for the fanciest man that I know. Yes. Well, may I say, <laughs> it's I'm, f***ing great I'm to be glad, alive and I'm, it's f***ing great to be in your cheers. company. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. And yours, Supple Pete. Yes. So glad you joined us. And yours, us. Alex. How are your nipples? Oh, they're never going flat again. <laughs> I promise you, at this point, I can receive radio transmissions on them. So I did tell, <laughs> I told Brianna before we started the shoot. Uh, I was like, well, what is the shoot? Because we're gonna have Jeremy. He's he's so fun. Mm. But you know, what's the premise? I think it, <laughs> a, a good goal should be: uh, can we pour Jeremy a whiskey where his nipples explode? I might need some bags because my nipples are in tatters on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> That was Jeremy. I hope you enjoyed him as much as we do. Throw him a thumbs up if you like what he's bringing to the table there. I uh, hope you guys had a fantastic Thanksgiving. And if you like these longer formats, just hanging out stuff, then yeah, let us know in the comments.